hello my dear this is one of the most favorite topic if you'll study air conditioning system okay so what is it i mean specific humidity or humidity ratio that is denoted by omega i have already shared with you well i'm not going to share with you few uh, you know few theoretical concept i'm going to share with you numerical concept what you need to know to solve numericals by using this formula well there are two only formulas and i'm going to share with you how to derive th those formulas if you required so as you know this uh, specific humidity or humidity ratio both are same so don't get confused when you will get uh, maybe you will get over some time spe uh, specific humidity or maybe sometime you are going to get humidity ratio so both are same so don't don't get confused okay so omega is equal to what we got mass of water vapor upon mass of air this is the formula for specific humidity well we have another formula is equal to 0.622 into pv by p minus pv what is p p pressure of uh, or pressure of uh, pressure of the vapor okay so i must say partial pressure of the water vapor okay now next what is p p is to total pressure if it is not given then take as atmospheric pressure that is 1.01 bar so i can also write here P is equal to 1.01325 bar. 1 bar is equal to how much? 1 bar is equal to 10 to the power 5 Newton per meter square. That is the unit of pressure in uh, SI. Okay. Now, what I have to do, I have to, I am going to share with you, I am uh, going to drive in front of you how to convert this into this. Alright. Sounds good so let's get started how to do it okay my dear so now what we have we have already have equation that is known as pv is equal to mrt we're going to have two equation this is the equation of ideal gas equation ideal gas equation maybe you have studied about this in previous class in chemistry so this is if we are considering for the case of vapor pv vv mv rv tv and and uh, p a v a r a i mean m a r a and t a now what we're going to do we, though we have m v upon m a so what we want to m v upon m a relation so m v upon r m v r v t v upon m a r a t a is equal to p v v v upon p a v a so this equation lies one thing that is same temperature as well as same volume this equation only applicable for the same temperature condition in the system and same volume that means temperature will be cancelled as well as volume will be cancelled are you getting me so what we have remaining right now we can write this equation as according to this mv upon m a is equal to p v into r a by p a r v are you getting my dear now as you know we are we what is r what is r gas constant what we know universal gas constant that is r bar is equal to molecular weight of air into r gas constant this is r a if i will write r a is equal to universal gas constant by molecular weight of the air same case in case of vapor what i can write r v is equal to universal gas constant m w v that is molecular weight of vapor vapor means water now let's think about molecular weight of water that is 2 for hydrogen and 16 for oxygen that is 18 and for air 29 now what do i have to do i have to just write the 
I mean here this equation in instead of this and here we need to write this equation instead of this so the, the equation would be like this PV upon PA R bar MWA R sorry we have a okay no problem and R bar MWV RR will be cancelled because universal gas is constant R that is known as 8.31 for closure per kg Kelvin. okay no problem so you can understand about I mean, you can get this value don't worry about that <laughs> okay now what we have we have remaining right now we have remaining right now molecular weight molecular weight of I mean this if you arrange this the molecular weight of vapor is 18 and molecular weight of air is this much PV upon PA partial pressure of water vapor partial pressure of air so if we'll calculate this then we will get 0.0, 0 I mean sorry 0 0.622 now what we have this PV already match now what is PA <laughs> this is a this is a partial pressure of air now what we have P is equal to PV plus PA matlab means total pressure is equal to PV partial pressure of uh, vapor water vapor that is and uh, PA partial pressure of air now we can write instead of PA is equal to P minus PV that's why it is written there PV upon P minus PV here we can also write the PV upon P minus PV so in this way you can find out the equation we can solve the equation quite easily in case of a specific humidity or humidity ratio I hope you understand it all right so uh, let me share with you one of the most important thing another thing that is also most important i will share with you here right here only because uh, the title is saying i'm going to share with you two things uh, i'm going to share with you also relative humidity relative humidity well we are having simple formula here that is mass of water vapor uh, then mass of water vapor at saturated condition is equal to pressure of water vapor by pressure of water vapor at saturated condition all right so this is it and uh, this is for relative humidity and this is for specific humidity so what we have to remember we have to remember sorry remember this we have to remember this and we have to remember this in case of specific humidity this one in case of relative humidity this and relative humidity is denoted by phi remember that okay so this is denoted by omega this is phi all right so i hope you understand the concept for me it's a basic concept and uh, hope to see you again in my next video bye bye